Are you lagging after the patch for FC25 on PC? So I have the best settings after patch for you guys. Let's jump straight into it. But before we dive into the settings, we have a word from today's sponsor, Hone GG. If you're struggling with frame rate and smooth gameplay with FC25 on the PC, this is the solution for you. Hone GG is an application that allows you to boost your FPS and performance for not just EFC25, by the way, but for any game that you play on PC. With one click of a button, Hone will detect and configure your PC optimization to suit how the game should be performing on your PC or laptop. You can see on screen right now the difference between the FPS before using Hone and after you use Hone. It's literally doubled in frames. There are two optimization presets and a variety of settings you can adjust to tweak the game performance and optimization to your liking. You can configure as you wish and find the best suited settings for your PC or laptop as you wish. Many people have recommended me this for PC, especially EEFC 25 on PC. I wouldn't be promoting this if I knew that it wasn't going to work, but it has worked like a charm. Trust me on this one. So if you're struggling with optimization issues for your game, click the link in my description and be sure to try Hone today. So that's Hone GG and I would 100% recommend it to those who are struggling with frames and struggling with optimization issues on laptops, on low-end laptops, on low-end PCs, because honestly, it's a game changer. So yeah, we're gonna dive into the game settings now. Here we go. So in order to obviously find your display configurations and your graphic settings, if you've never done this before, you just wanna press L1 or LB or go all the way at the end until it says display configuration. Obviously my camera is covering it. So it says DIS, just about see it onto the behind my monitor, yeah. Over there. Here we go. As you can see on screen, my resolution is 21 by 9. Yep, I am a widescreen monitor user now. I recently picked this up. As you can see, it's quite big. You can see it on my flipping camera. But for those who are struggling to, that are literally dropping frames, that are dropping lag, that, that are lag spiky throughout the game, because of the recent patch, there's been a lot of juggling and optimization isn't the best right now. So thank you, EA. Hopefully you can fix that. And yeah. So yeah, as I've got a widescreen monitor, uh, obviously I want it to be the best for my resolution and for the way it looks. Obviously my whole screen covers the whole game. I can see the whole pitch. But for the, those who are struggling for frames, struggling with lag, st struggling for just to get the best out of frames for you guys, I'd recommend just slapping it on 1280 by 720 This goes for any laptop, any screen, any monitor. I don't know what EA has done, but long story short, they've just messed up the game completely in the sense of optimization because they basically overrided the code and they mixed it up from what I've gathered anyway. From all the comments I've been getting, that's basically what's been going on. Moving on to the display mode, make sure every single one of you lot use full screen. Use full screen, no window borderless, no windowed mode. You guys are missing out simply on the best frames. It, the, the full screen basically removes all the background stuff, removes all the applications, the background that affects the game's performance. And it will just basically keep your display mode. If it goes to window boardless, as you can see, your refresh rate gets locked to 60 only. And as well as if you do play on windowed, you're going to have a lot of background volume. just going to affect your game frames, your in-game performance quite a margin. So please, I highly recommend you guys, please, please, please play on full screen. There's no if buts and maybes it's, it's just absolute you know what i mean moving on to the refresh rate those who are struggling on frames and this goes to laptop users this goes to low-end pcs play on 60 you can't see your 120 or 144 hertz who cares play on 60 i play on 60 on my laptop it's absolutely fine it's still as smooth compared to console all the animations are as smooth as can be there are a bit of frame jitters and lags from the cutscenes, but i'd recommend you guys just lock in it to 60. when i was doing my high to low settings comparison i couldn't tell a difference when it came to refresh rate because my frames were already too high if you're locked to 60 it will still be as smooth as if you're playing 144 that's from my personal experience i'd recommend you guys do what i've just recommended if you don't want to do that if you're not going to listen just go to 144 or 120 if you have a 240 hertz monitor can't see it please just lock into 144 or the best refresh rate it can be on your game because EA 
aren't going to bring out a post patch for Hertz to be above 144 because they've optimized this game specifically for console and consoles only go up to 120 so somehow I got 144 luckily my new monitor by the way is 165 so I can't see 165 but I'm just going to play 144 and play as best as can be moving on to the frame rate lock this to 30 if you guys are struggling completely struggling you guys are getting around 50 to 60 fps lock it to 60 so then it could be locked to 60 you're getting 100 fps ish lock it to 90 and if you're getting 130 fps lock it to 120 and then low limit fps is for those like myself who are getting over 150 160 180 fps so yeah i go with no limit fps once again because this is my best solution for my my computer and this is what i've been using since they launched the game and i have no issues but if for those who are having issues please lock 60 30 120 90 120 you know you know the drill moving on to virtual sync lock the frame turn it on if you're getting frames over 40 if you're jittering quite a bit in game just turn on your virtual sync trust me it changes everything i get that oh you shouldn't turn on vsync but in eafc's benefit it helps the game work a lot more better and smoother so for those who have the lower end pcs for those who are struggling on frames lag jitter everything turn this on but as I don't need this, my solution is to keep it off because I record, I stream, I do all this other stuff. If I lock my frame rate, are you locking, locking your game here? Your recording might crash, you know what I mean? So I keep this off. Uh, moving on to dynamic resolution scale, turn this on once again. It's an output resolution which should change on the fly to improve your performance. I don't know, I still don't know exactly what this does, but comment down below what it does. If you do know, don't, then don't comment. If you do know, please enlighten me with your, with your education. Please turn this on because it literally says change on the fly to improve your performance so just to let you know i'm having this off once again because i haven't tried it on my wide screen so full screen quality to half because essentially 30 it'll be 15 fps if it's 60 it'll be 30 fps if it's 90 it'll be 45 fps if it's 120 fps it'll be 60 and then low limit fps is whatever your frames performances are the top right of your screen or however you figure out your performance it'll be that it'll be it'll basically cut that quality depending on your frame so as i have like no limit fps on my cutscene quality will be around 100 moving on to strand based hair like i said i don't understand why this is even a thing Turn this off. Moving on to rendering quality, grass quality, crowd quality, cloth quality, ambient collision, and motion blur. Have this on low and off. You can literally see this. I'm a widescreen monitor player. I'm averaging more than 200 FPS because I have everything off. If you guys are strong, if you guys are literally putting it on ultra or high or medium or low, and you're having lag spikes and you're having frame issues, having crashes, check this please. Because you guys need to understand that. Your optimization issues, which can be fixed by Hone, by the way, just to let you know, that program will basically optimize your game for you and your PC for you when you want to play the best FC25 possible. But moving back to this, if you don't have Hone, if you don't have optimization applications that can help your laptop prevent all these issues, this should all be low anyway. You want to make sure you get the most frames possible when it comes to FC25 and in general on Call of Duty or any, in general any game that you play on PC. Apart from the story mode games, if, if you're getting around 100 FPS on Ultra or extreme settings and you're playing red dead redemption 2 it doesn't matter because you're there to enjoy the scenery you're there to enjoy story mode you're trying to you know be there as an actual person then for example fifa you don't want to actually be immersive and be in the game right unless you're playing player career mode but that's besides the point make sure this is all low because there is no difference you can check the description for the high to low versus low settings video that i did there's no difference so please make sure i recommend you guys do everything on low put half or full depending on your frames put this on put virtual sync on lock your fps depending on how many frames you get moving on to your refresh rate make sure it's 60 essentially 144 60 doesn't really make a difference full screen make it make sure it's on on and make sure this is one 1280 by 720 or not or like just above like 16 by 900 uh resolution what you want to do is head to visual this is two major frame hogging settings that you guys need to do so head to visual if you guys want to know where you got how you guys get there lb 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 or l1 l1 depending on your controller scroll all the way down until you see player styles plus overhead indicators turn this off 
you don't need this i recommend you guys stop playing with this essentially it's the indicator to when you your player uses your play style plus so if it's a power shot it will come up on the top of your uh, player's head power shot like indicator same thing with evolution indicators you could turn this off it's it's, it's not needed it's an fps hog turn that off moving on to the next setting and i believe the final setting and that is hyper motion insight overlays hyper motion insight overlays are those things at the bottom of your not the bottom of your screen but on the pitch it's got the possession stats on your on your floor your field it's got all these things all these gimmicks that you don't need because they're just frame hogs i don't know if uh, you could turn this off in console if you guys do have a console Turn this off as well. It's not needed. When I've been growing up playing FIFA, I see all these statistics with little motion drop downs underneath the scoring board. I don't need to see it on the pitch. We don't need to see it on the pitch. Hyper motion technology thing is cool and all, but you don't need it. You simply don't. Turn this off, please. I highly recommend you guys turn it off. Get all the frames you need. And yeah. So that's been your game settings. That's been your settings post patch hopefully you have enjoyed this video drop a like guy if you haven't already comment down below if you guys are having any issues any problems with this and yeah have a wonderful day take care and peace